welcome to Teresa's Kitchen. Today for my Sunday dinner is uh, spaghetti and meatballs, whole kernel corn, great value style meat flavored pasta sauce, and garlic bread. Okay, the kind of meatballs that I'm going to use with my spaghetti and meatballs is great value pork stallion style meatballs that's flavored in Parmesan cheese. Okay, and the type of spread that I'm going to be using on my garlic bread is going to be the Lari's garlic spread. And the type of meat sauce that I'll be using on my spaghetti and meatballs will be the meat flavored pasta sauce. And instead of the thick slice garlic bread that I normally would use, I'm going to be using the thin slice white bread. And I'm going to use for the pasta, I have some leftover angel hair pasta, but I'm going to use some thinly spaghetti to uh, put on the, put it, you know, with the pasta, so they both come the same way, so they'll, they'll be good too, and the vegetable that I'm having with the dinner is going to be whole kernel corn, and uh, that's about it. I will be placing the spaghetti balls in the pan. They need to be baked for about, uh, I'd say from 45 minutes to an hour. It would take a little, but it'd be how you, you know, how, how you want them. But you don't want to let them stay in there too long so they can be dry. And I don't like dry meatballs. I like my meatball to be juicy. And now I have placed all my meatballs in the pan. So now I'll put them in the oven and let them bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, now I'm going to cook Brooks's whole kernel corn. I'm going to use three cans of whole kernel corn. Um, I like Bruce's corn. Season it up real Okay, and this is the last can. And after I do this, After I do this, I'm gonna uh, add some butter, some country crock butter to it. Um, I'll say maybe a couple tablespoons. I just eyeball it. I'm gonna add some sugar. I like sweet corn. Just a tasting like for it to be sweet. And now I'm gonna add a little salt to this. And I'm gonna add some black pepper corn to it. I like it because it's uh you can see it, it's not the fine pepper. I like it, I like to see the not pepper in it thing. But you can adjust it to whatever you want. And that's it. Now put it on the stove and let it cook, simmer for a while, and we're and it be done. Now I'm gonna prepare the uh, water for my spaghetti. First, I'm going to add a little bit of classic olive oil in it. Just 
know, maybe uh, just enough to keep it from uh, the sp spaghetti from sticking. I'm going to add a little salt to the water. I like to flavor my water first and, you know, so it can all be all and combined and everything. So you won't have to be trying to season it after it's done. So, and now I'm putting a little black pepper corn in it. Again, I like it because I like the way it looks and it's thick cuts of pepper and I like this. And so, after you do all that, you put it on the uh, stove, let it come to a boil, and then after it comes to a boil, then you break your spaghetti in and let it cook for about six to eight minutes. And when it's done, and that's it, so that's all it. Now I'm going to start my spaghetti sauce and try to flavor it up a little bit. I'm going to add my meat flavored pasta sauce to my pan. Uh, I'm going to add a little sp more spaghetti sauce to it. I'm going to add a little salt. And I'm going to add some of my peppercorn pepper. I'm gonna add some uh, onion powder. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some onion, some uh, garlic powder. And then I'm gonna add a little sugar to give it a little sweetness. Okay. And I'm just gonna give it a little taste to my liking. Let me see. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. And um, so all I have to do now is put it on the stove and let it simmer for a little bit. I like that for my uh my ingredients to combine with each other and to make it real good. So that's all I have to do. And now the spaghetti is in the pot with the peppercorn, the olive oil, and salt. You let it cook for eight to nine minutes or until tender. And then after that, once it's done, you drain. And that's it. Now you can see that the spaghetti is done, and you can see how it's al dente looks good. So now I'm going to add some peppercorn to it. Just a little to give it a little appeal. Okay, and now I'm going to get my meatballs and add them. And, uh... Stir them up. Then I put my sauce on it. So now I'm going to add my meatballs. I'm going to add my meatballs to it. Okay. Don't they look so pretty? And by the way, I tasted one and oh, it was good. Okay. Oh, it's so mean and makes so very hot. So, uh, almost done. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a little stir. stir. Yeah. 
you can see my cameraman. She want to laugh because it's a little hot to me. Now I'm going to add my uh, sauce on the top. Then I'm gonna add just a little more sauce to it. Sometimes I think I'm gonna add a little too much, but I'm gonna do a little more. Okay. Mm. That looks nice. It smells good. We had smell of it. That's all we need. Some great value meat flavored pasta sauce is gonna go over the spaghetti right, meatball. Okay, let's do this. 